Welcome guys, I am Parinda. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive regular notifications regarding the computer science topics and technical job updates. Hello guys, welcome to my channel to polish your CSE concepts with me. So, let's get started. In today's video, we are going to see one very interesting and important topic of data mining and data warehouse that is KDD. Actually, today we are going to start the series of data mining and data warehouse. I will be trying to upload uh, almost all the important concepts of data mining and data warehouse. I hope it will be helpful to you. So today we are going to start with KDD. Uh, actually, this is a very important topic in terms of exam point of view also. It is asked in 4 marks, 6 marks or even 8 mark question. So what you need to do if this question is asked, uh, as, as I have drawn here, you have to draw this diagram and See, as I have written in the uh, red ink, you can see that these are the seven main steps of data mining, uh, sorry, of this KDD. You just need to make this diagram and explain these seven steps properly, then you will be getting full mark in this question. So, in this video, we are trying to understand the whole thing, what it is and how it works. So, the very first step is data source first of all as the name itself indicates knowledge discovery from database that means what we will be having database or data source means we will be having collection of data and we know that what is collection of data it means we will be having bulk of data that will contain uh, dirty data useful data or some of the data that is not useful to us so in bulky data everything will be present what we need to do is we need to perform all these steps so that at the end we will get the useful knowledge that we are desiring fine okay so from the beginning we will be in the beginning we will be having data source data source means as i told it will be the bulk of data that will contain all kind of data not necessarily only the useful one right so it will contain all kind of data so in the data source we will extract the data that will be bulk of data and the very first step that we will be performing is data cleaning and what do we mean by data cleaning data cleaning means removing redundant and irrelevant data fine what do we mean by uh, redundant means repetitive data for example there is a table and in that table uh, there are five or six rows containing exactly same data so what we can do we can keep one day uh, one row and we can remove the other redundant rows obviously right if five or six rows are giving us the same information it is of no use only one row can do so in data cleaning first of all what we will do we will remove the redundant data that means repetitive data we will remove the repetitive data and second one is we will remove the irrelevant data means we know that what kind of knowledge we want so if there is any data that is not at all related with our knowledge that means it is irrelevant or irrelated for us so what we can do we can simply remove those data so in data cleaning we will be removing the irrelevant and redundant data fine now after doing data cleaning in the second step we will be doing data integration what do we mean by data integration data integration means we will be integrating or collecting the data now in um, in this process of integrating the data it is possible that we will get some of the issues or conflicts so we will use some method to remove those conflicts like correlation analysis and all we, um, we will learn about that in detail later so simply understand that in data integration we are going to integrate or collect the data now after integrating the data we will be saving it in data warehouse now you can understand this data warehouse as it is uh, data warehouse is nothing but it is also a collection of data it is a storage where we can store our data so uh, after data cleaning and data integration we are going to save or store our data in data warehouse now after storing it in data warehouse we will do the third step that is data selection data selection uh, data selection means what selecting the necessary data which will be useful for deriving our knowledge right so that is nothing but data selection now after doing data selection in the fourth step we are doing data transformation that means what in the third step after collecting the important data or selecting the important data it is possible that 
those data can be in different format because those data will be kind of heterogeneous data right they will be in various different format but what we want is for further processing we want all our data in the same format so what we need to do that after selecting the data we need to perform data transformation so that we will transform the different types of data that we are having into one single similar form got it so after data transformation what we will get we will get acceptable consistent format of data acceptable means that can be accepted by the further steps so acceptable consistent and similar format of data will be received after data transformation so after having the similar kind of data what we can do we can do or we can perform the fifth step that is data mining now what do we mean by data mining data mining is nothing but finding patterns or relations among the data means we are having data and after data transformation we are having data all in the same format now what we can do we can try to find similarities patterns or relations among the data that is known as data mining now after doing data mining we will get pattern because as we as i told in data mining what we are doing we are trying to find the patterns or similarities or relations so now we got the pattern now after getting the pattern from the data we need to do the sixth step that is pattern evolution what do we mean by uh, pattern evolution evaluating the pattern that we received what do we mean by evaluating means kind of observing the pattern observing the pattern and trying to find out that what the pattern says or what the pattern is suggesting how the data are related in which context are they related so we have to observe these patterns and this is known as pattern evaluation because after observing the patterns we can come to a conclusion and that conclusion or that specific type of a uh, pattern or specific type of uh, data that we received is known as knowledge means now we have the particular data we know the relation between them we know the patterns between them we have evaluated the pattern and now we are having the specific knowledge that we were looking for fine now after receiving the knowledge the last step that we need to do is knowledge representation knowledge representation means what presenting this knowledge in a proper format now for this we are using different visualization tools there are various visualization tools which we can use to present our knowledge in a particular format like we can um, a uh, present it in graph format table format whatever format we want we can represent our knowledge as per the need fine so these are all the steps of kdd i hope you have understood the whole method so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please share it more and more and if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel and in case you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section thank you so much